I got into the sport because I loved dogs, and this gives me a way to sort of do something constructive with my love for dogs and get my fill of all the doggy hugs I can get. How are you doing in here? My name is Kaya Donsovic, and I'm from Stavanger in uh, Norway, Europe. I've been watching for five years. I've never had my own team, so I've always been working for others. I'm a huge fan of dogs. They're just uh, fun to be around. They're hardworking. A little trouble with them. They always agree with you. And whenever you're feeling down, they can give you a hug and a kiss. This is Apollo. Uh, he's an Alaskan Husky. And he's a real sweetheart with people. He can be a little grumbly with other dogs. So that's why he's in the box. But with people, he loves them. Yes, you do. I've heard people say that, but I think if you've ever seen a team take off, uh, you would understand that this is what they love to do and this is what they're meant to doing. You know, occasionally people will say that, but generally the people who say that are the ones who haven't come down here and actually seen how much these dogs, how excited they get, how much they love what they're doing. If anybody says that to me, I say, come out on a dog sled ride with me and see what happens because um, the dogs love to do this, they live to do this, and when you hook them up and put them in harness, they are ready to go. Andy Bartley from Albany Township, Maine. I just like seeing the dogs doing something they really enjoy doing and just walking with them, getting the best out of the dogs, having fun in the winter. They all get really, really excited, and just their, I don't know, it just seems like their love of what they do. It's just apparent. You can see their tails wagging and they're very friendly with people and stuff like that. <laughs> in the team, a lot of times what you'll end up seeing is you'll see a younger dog um, that's in the back of the team starting to sort of lean out while it runs and looking around the other dogs. And it's sort of, it's that drive to sort of see what's going on up front that curiosity that lets me know that that dog is intelligent enough to make the connection that they would be able to see more up front. Their role mainly is sort of a steering wheel. If I yelled G, they would take a right hand turn. They would pull the entire team off to the right. If I yelled Ha, they would do the same thing to the left. If I just threw any dog in the team up there that didn't know what it was doing, we'd be all over the lake. <laughs> no way. Um, I've thought about it a little bit, but the Iditarod, it's so, it's so hard on the animals and it's so hard on the people that whereas some people are really excellent at dog care and that sort of thing and feel confident that they can get the animals through and safely and happily, you know, I'm, I'm much happier doing sort of the shorter, mellower stuff with these guys. The dogs have incredible natural energy they have joy, they have excitement. Um, when you're running on the trail, it's incredibly beautiful, it's quiet. All you hear is the panting of the dogs and the swish of the runner. And probably my favorite moments are when I'm out on the trail at night, um, when you have northern lights and uh, shooting stars. You know, I'd like to dog sled as long as I can, but you know, dogs have always been a big part of my life even before I got into dog sledding, so I imagine I'll try and keep it that way. Right, Quick? Yeah. Ah! <laughs>